Hello everybody and welcome to the second episode of What Is. Today we are going to look at Tank Troopers, which um, is now out on the Nintendo 3DS in Japan. It's coming out in Europe and North America at some point in time, but for now, uh, yeah, it is only a Japanese release. So, I don't think I have as much to say as I had in the Metopia episode, so my feeling is that we're going to look at one mission, and I'm just going to tell you some stuff, and just tell you how I feel about this game. So what is Tank Troopers? Well, it's not that hard to understand. Uh, in Tank Troopers you move a tank around, just shoot at enemies, and partake in the missions at hand. There are three basic modes here. There is local multiplayer, there is download play, there is missions, and that is about your lot. Um, there is no online multiplayer or an option to play the multiplayer modes with computer bots. No, there is nothing like that. You will have to play with people around you, which I think is a mistake. I think this game would have been perfect online, and I anticipated that it would have online. But it didn't, which is severely disappointing. Um, especially in particular, since you have a lot of cool customization options. You have like 36 different kind of tanks, which I will scroll around here. And you'll see they uh, all have a different monetary value in gold. And they have different stats, they have a different um, amount of crew members that you can hold in it. It's all nice and fancy. But the problem is, is that by the time you will likely finish the campaign, you will not have every single thing here unlocked, because the later ones are quite expensive. Um, and that's more annoying, because I think you will be, once you play every mission once, you're sort of already done with the game. There's not really a reason to return outside of doing the multiplayer with people directly around you, which is only like available to you in some couple of instances because all of you still need need to have a Nintendo 3DS on you. Yes, yeah, so you so, just saw that last one. It was like 240,000 gold, which is insane. Um, there's two other options here. You can select your own crew members. Each of them have a special ability, and you'll see that they all, all have their own monetary value attached to them to be unlocked. I only have three at the moment and I think I'm okay with the crew now, so I'm just, just gonna skim over that. And the final option is to apply your own skin here, which are, there are quite a few of them in this game. None of them just really stand out, but they're certainly, they certainly bring a nice touch to all of the tanks. Um, I will choose this one. For the purpose of this um, video, however, I'm not going to use any of my m customized tanks. I'm actually going to use a pre-made one. Uh, because the main story campaign, the mission campaign, um, gives the focus on preset tanks with different kinds of crew members. While there is a free play mode that allows you to use your own customized tanks and crews. But I, I didn't play it. I'm still at the first mission here. So we're immediately gonna move on to, to to the more focused campaign and play mission. Let's go with mission five. I'm pretty sure I haven't showed this one on YouTube. So in mission five, it is your goal to defeat ten enemies on the ground in this dark like arena. Um They'll just move swiftly around you, you have, to, you have to shoot them. There are watchtowers that are trying to shoot you down as well. At the beginning you have a repair unit with you who gets likely shown out of shoot, shoot out of the ground like pretty quickly. And you have seven minutes to do it. I will likely do it in around five, if I'm being completely frank here, because it's not really that difficult of a mission. Um, I will likely need to get the hang of the controls again, because every time I feel that I step away from the game from a little bit, I feel that I need to learn its systems again and again. Which is not necessarily a good sign, but uh, it's pretty straightforward once you know what you need to do. So let's get started here. And let's see if there's an, there's an enemy close by. Let's shoot it down. Perfect. Uh, here's another one. Hold up. Let's get rid of it. 
Perfect. So I'm gonna switch uh, to to this mode here, which it allows me to see the enemies that are close by. Oh, hello there. Yeah, there you go. I just kind of expected that already that the that the unit would do that, so I'm not really that worried. Um, so for controls here, uh, you move up and down on the D-pad to move up and down, forward and backward. Um, y lets you look around you while you move in the same direction. And the control stick steers your tank and allows you to do some quick movement left and right. You can also do this with the gyroscope if you so desire. Um, the A and the B button lets you do the movement manually. And then X, which I also pressed, lets you do the binoculars thing. And R is naturally that you can shoot your missiles. And that's about your lot. Are those two stuck on one another? The AI in this game is not really that all that smart. They know how to shoot though, so I'll give them that. But there's was a repair kit there, so I'm not really that all that worried. If you see those moving boxes here, that's the unit that's hidden in camouflage, but that's not really an issue for me. So that's five. There's another one. Oh, here's the biggest one in this level. They can shoot some some nasty paint balls. I press the button on the touchscreen to reposition myself so I can um, shoot in a position that's comfortable for me. Because I feel that sometimes this game gets kind of out of focus, which is annoying. So for some, some reason they come towards me, which is perfect. Oh wow, I still have three to go. That's It's just going quite well, actually. Now that I have a protective barrier, let's see if I can find some health. Uh, there we go. Good, okay. Uh, let's find... I need to do three more enemies. So let me see... Oh, there you go. You'll see that I don't really use the, the L functionality a lot. And um, I don't really like it. I think I can do this pretty much without it. Because, like I said, the enemies are not all that difficult to defeat. Two more to... one more to go. Perfect. I will likely make it in the time that I said I would. Great! So that's the mission completed. Completed it well in the time that I thought I would have, and I still have some a good amount of time left. Oh, I think I'll have a B though, because of the damage that I took. There you go. Um, and yeah, it it plays fine. I don't think I'm pretty doing pretty well at this game. I'm having getting mostly Bs here, which you know I deal with like. The, the one of the mi things I showed in the actual gameplay I did for this game was this mission where I shoot the ball. And it took a while to nail this one down, but once you do it, it's not all that difficult. In total, there are 30 missions in this game. And from what I've seen of the objective side of things, they seem pretty varied. So there is at least that, and they give you some good stuff to toy around with. Um, how long this will last you? Um, going by all the missions that I've played so far, which are about 10, 
I would say this maybe this looks like a four or five hour game, um, which is fair enough to me. It's not that expensive, but it would have been nice for the multiplayer to have again online. Um, but you know, I just deal with the cards that I'm dealt with. Um, hopefully, this gave you a nice quick look at this game. It's naturally not as in depth as the last video. But then again, that's a full retail game, and this is an 800 yen download. Um, let me know which game you want to do me next. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next episode of what is... Dot, 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 question mark. See you guys later.